Welcome to the European Parliament here in Brussels. I'm David Hay and I work for the European Union of the Deaf. I'm the Communication and Media Officer. Now I'm going to interview MEP Jutta Steinruck. She's a member of the Disability Intergroup and her party is the Progressive Alliance of Socialists and Democrats. She comes from Germany. Welcome. Hello. We look at the website of your party and we read uh, the, the sentence that says, we stand for an inclusive society in which solidarity, equality, diversity, freedom and fairness are valued and safeguarded. Everyone living in Europe must feel they belong regardless of race, gender, disability, age, or sexual orientation. We believe in an inclusive and open alternative. I would like to ask you, regarding this vision, how do you, how do you include, how do you see deaf people being important with regards to this vision? We have reached a point where we cannot allow Europe to lose more people. We are losing our young professionals to youth unemployment. We are losing more and more workers to precarious working conditions. We cannot sit and watch how people are turning their back to Europe because it is not inclusive to all citizens. The effective inclusion of all citizens into society is the only instrument to achieve a, and democratically legitimize the idea of a united European society, a society that we stand at, as socialists and democrats for. Deaf sign language users are another example for the need to break barriers to integration within Europe. We have to think about everyone in our society when we make laws, from young to old, from families to single parents, from people using a wheelchair to people using deaf sign language. You, as a member of the European Parliament, also a member of the Disability Intergroup, and part of the employment committee you are an influential figure but how do you use this influence for a more inclusive accessible employment when we make legislation we need to think of all members of society as a member of the employment committee i see it as my responsibility to sensitize companies to do the same in their business policies Employers have to be aware that there are other ways of communication than the spoken word. This can also be supported by political targets, such as minimum quotas. So we in EUD right now are working, we're working on a campaign towards uh, for the European elections, for accessible European elections. We want to include everyone in the elections. Uh, shortly we will have an event soon on the 27th of November here in the European Parliament. And you said you will come. And I would like to ask you why you support our campaign and why do you want European institutions to be accessible for all, all deaf people? Why do you support us? Social participation also means equality of all parts of society in all social processes. This includes participation in elections and representation of different interests. It must be a priority on the agenda of the politicians to encourage everyone to vote. If we don't do this as politicians, we have failed our we have failed to fulfill our job. Therefore, I fully support the initiative of EUD and hope for an effective and fruitful discussion on the 27th of November. 
So I would like to thank you for your support and thank you for your time. Thank you for this interview. Thank you so much. Thank you for your initiative and your work you do.